Today I'm going to do a tutorial on Beauty Control's best-selling eyeshadow, which is called All Natural. Obviously you can see that it's very natural shades. I use this palette all the time to recreate a look just like this. And this is more of an everyday look, but you can use the same trio in lots of different ways with other colors as well to make more of a nighttime look. But let's get started with how to re recreate this. So I did my foundation and my brows, and I always start with an eyeshadow control cream, and I usually use neutral. And I start from my lash line, and I work it all the way up to my brow bone. This just makes sure that your makeup stays on all day and doesn't crease. And I always start with a very light color. You do not have to take this step, but I always do this just because it makes sure that the other colors go on a lot more blended. So I'm gonna work linen in all over my lid, all the way from the lash line, again, all the way up to the brow bone. And that creates a smooth surface for the rest of the colors. And eyeshadow is all about blending, so I think this is an important step. So now you can see I've primed one eye and the other eye is bare. I'm gonna use a big puffy brush and I'm gonna dip it into the mid-tone color and that is always the color I start with. No matter what look I'm trying to create, I work the mid-tone color into the crease and just above the crease for the very first step so that there's a gradient of color. And the motion that I use is a swish, 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 windshield wiper, windshield wiper. And this step does take a little bit of time as I'm blending out to make sure it's perfect. Then I pick up the darkest color in the palette with a just slightly smaller brush and I'm gonna work that from the outside in in the same area of the crease, but just a little bit smaller area. That's why I'm using a little bit smaller brush. And of course I'm blending back and forth in the same motions. Then I'm gonna use that darker color again in what I call the outer V of the eye. And I start on the outside part and then I blend inwards until it looks perfect. And remember to always angle that outer V up to the tip of the brow, not taking it out too far. Then I use my puffy blending brush to blend again in between every step before I move on to the lightest color in the palette. And I'm actually just gonna pack that on from the lash line up to the crease. So this color you would see if my eyes are closed, you would not see it if my eyes are open. But traditionally, this is a flattering everyday look to have the lightest color on the lid because it really opens the eye up and makes the lid look a little bit bigger. And between each step, again, I blend, blend, blend because that's the key to flawless eyeshadow. So I'm blending out. I'm going to apply a little bit of eyeliner and the color I use is Espresso to go with this trio. It's a beautiful brown and I usually line inside my waterline because I prefer inside the waterline as opposed to on the actual lash line because I think that looks a little bit harsh. But I'll show you how I actually do eyeliner on the bottom. I pick up a small smudge brush and the darkest color that I used in the trio and I just smudge, 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 smudge that color into the bottom lash line so that it looks more natural. It's more of a smoky appearance rather than using a liner on my lash line which can be a little bit harsh. So I'm going to finish this look with some mascara course on the top and then I let it dry and then I do another coat and another coat and another coat because let's just face it ladies it's all about the lashes. So this is our completed look and we've got the mid-tone in the crease, the darkest color on the outside of the eye, and the lightest color on the actual lid. I hope this tutorial helped you to recreate this look using this beautiful beauty control trio.